Hey, it's time for Discoveries with D. That's me. Thank you for coming on this video. I am Denise. Today, this is a long awaited overdue video I should have filmed months ago. But life, as you know, gets in the way of, of my fun time. But this is all about the cruise I took back in March on, on the Norwegian boat. So I thought I would talk a little bit about what I thought, my review, and I went with a couple other couples and I asked the girls to give me their two cents and what they liked, what they didn't like, what they could have done better with. This way in the future, if you're choosing to go on Norwegian, you might look at this video and go, wow, Dee said this, let me remember that. And it's just different things. Like I haven't cruised in probably 30 years. This cruise I went on was the, um, Carnival Cruise Line. This we use Norwegian. I think we're on the getaway boat. So we left the day after St. Patrick's Day. So um, I have the opinions of my friends because I'm telling you, we all give a little bit of something different, but we all seem to have the same center of ideas. So let me start with theirs. Let's start with Miss Linda. Let me just do this over here. I have some notes. All right. All right, cruise likes. We'll do likes and dislikes. The quality of the food and the selections. We ate nine times out of 10 in the restaurants. Um, honestly, uh, it was something we chose to do. It was just a little bit more calm or a little bit more laid back. Um, again, you can you choose, to, now back in the day, they used to have like buffets everywhere. Well, now they only have one central buffet, which for ours is on the top deck and you have restaurants. Now you're packaged, all packages are different. There's several restaurants you got to choose from for your dining package. Um, I think we had a choice of about four, I wanna say, four or five. And then they have specialty dining, which are above and beyond the cost of your cruise. So, you know, we enjoyed the food in the restaurants. So she was saying the food selections and the quality. The cleanliness of the boat, the cleanliness of the restaurant, the cleanliness of her room. The employees, the employees were fantastic. We, from our wait staff to the people who took care of our room to anybody that we had in contact with, the bartenders, it just, everybody was super duper nice. It were, and they, were, they came from all over the world. So you never know, we know what you're learning about. So it was a lot of fun that way. The accommodations, our room. Now we all got upgraded to have the balcony. It was so well worth it to have that little piece of outdoors right there. It opened up the room. So the room, rooms are not that big on boats because honestly, are you really spending that much time there? You're really not. So you don't really want to, you know, you don't want to get a suite. I mean, if you have the money, hey, go for it. But it just opened up the room. So the rooms felt a little bit bigger and it was nice to sit. They had chairs on your balcony to sit down there and look at the water, your own little private water view. It was just nice. You can keep the door open. You can keep the door closed. You can keep the curtains open. You can, it was just nice to have that. The bathrooms were nice. Um, only once did we have problems with the toilets, but it wasn't us. It was the whole floor. They weren't flushing. <laughs> and there was one of those toilet flush. <laughs> yeah, it's like air pressure. So it all worked out eventually, but it was a little scary there. <laughs> Quality of the entertainment. Oh my gosh. There are multiple shows that are included with your package. Some you had to pre-book and some you just had to wait in line. They, everything we saw was fantastic. Absolutely loved everything we saw. So, I mean, it might, you know, it might have been nice to maybe book everything so you know you had a seat. You know, some things you had to wait in line and sometimes they ran out and, you know, sometimes things filled up. But so far, all the quality of the shows that we saw were absolutely fantastic. Oops, hold on. Slid up. The alcohol package. We had an upgraded alcohol package included. Sometimes Norwegian throws that in. Their alcoholic beverage is up to fifteen dollars. Um, you know, even if you have two drinks a day, which is what I did and planned in, it was still worth it, um, in my opinion. Uh, it was nice to have that option because remember, you only I think you get what coffee included, tea. I know, you may even get juice. I'm not sure. I think you might get juice, but you don't get sodas. You don't, you know, so anything other than that. And we even got al non-alcoholic drinks. Like um, there was this one on the pool bar. They had these frozen mango drinks and we got them without the alcohol. <laughs> like having a smoothie. It was fantastic. So definitely it, it pay pays to have that upgrade. 
like I said, you don't have to drink 10 drinks a day. Uh, and don't feel that way. Some people feel like, um, if I have this, I need to over drink. No, maybe we had a, maybe we had a breakfast cocktail. There was Bloody Marys in my cruise. So, you know, it's, it's just nice to not to have to worry about that. Her dislikes were smoking near the restaurant. Well, they have a casino on this one floor. And right next to that was the noodle bar. Noodle bar was included. But our only downside to that noodle bar was it wasn't always open. And it filled up. It was not that big. But the smoking from the casino filtered into the noodle bar. So that was a little bit gross. I guess they have to have smoking sections, but... It should have been closed off or it wasn't, wasn't right next to a restaurant because it, it was kind of nasty. <laughs> Cancellation of ports without alternative plans, which we understand is necessary, but I wish there was an alternate plan or further conversations as originally booked. We, when we originally booked, we booked with five ports to call. I'm thick I remember them because they changed them. Um, we were supposed to stop at Virginia Beach, Cocoa Beach. Um, there was a private island. There was Nassau, I believe. It was four ports. Oh, and, and Bermuda. The reason we booked this cruise is because it included Bermuda. We booked the cruise. Weeks later, Bermuda's off the table. Honestly, that's the reason we booked. Now, I don't know why they don't explain that, which is another thing. Well, why not say something? You know, give me the opportunity to, to maybe say, hey, maybe I don't want to go. So that, that was a little sad. And then they took Virginia Beach off, which I really, you know, what's in Virginia Beach anyway? I mean, no insult to Virginia Beach, but I, I've been there. So it's not like that was, a, you know, the reason we booked was Bermuda. Um, so we still had the the Bahamas. We still had the private island, which I think is called uh, Cast K, something K, um, which is the boats private island where you go and they have like food trucks and the beach and so and then we were stopping in Cocoa Beach Florida um so they took off then like I said they took off so they took off two ports but they it, you sign up it says that this itinerary can change so we got on the boat um we went to Cocoa Beach on Tuesday we were on Wednesday, I think it was, or was it Thursday? We were supposed to go to the private island, K, K, Biscayne K or something like that. And we had, there was an announcement saying, sorry, we have to cancel the port because the sea was too rough and it was, it was we, the boat did not dock there. The boat docked, you had to get it tender boats out to the island. Well, it was too rough to do the tender boats. And I've been on a tender boat. I totally understand that. I do. I know that that happens. But that's also sad for us because that was the one thing I was looking forward to since they took off me to this beautiful private island. Oh my gosh, that, you know, that, that just made everything <laughs> right there because we didn't get to do anything. They didn't all, you know, and, and this was a full boat, not like it was a, you know, partially booked, but this is a full booked boat. So when we heard that the um, port was canceled, we immediately said, let's go to the pool. So we, we ran upstairs to get a beach chair. Now, there was none to be had because they were already taken because everybody had that idea. It gets worse because there's a very, very top, 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 top deck. That's like a sun deck. And all the, the chairs were bound up there like on, with belts. Well, where are we supposed to go? So nobody was up there. So the, the natives got a little bit restless and they un, we freed the chairs. We unbuckled them. We figured out how to get them open. It was difficult, but we did it because where are we supposed to go? And it took them forever to send somebody up there. You know, they had cameras. They knew they knew what was going on. So at least we got a seat. Granted, it was at the very, very top. It's not where it wasn't near the pool or the water, but at least we got some sun in that day. So that was one of the reasons she was saying like an alternative thing. And they, and they have areas like common areas where you can play games and stuff. But again, you got a full boat. Not everybody can play because it's too crowded. So that kind of, you know, you couldn't go to the movie because it was too crowded. So, and we spent, you know, out of eight days, we only had two ports. So we spent most of our time on the boat. Now they did refund us 
for the, the day that they couldn't take the tender votes out. They did refund us our port fees. Which was, I guess, a win there, but it was still unfair for us. I think we were, a lot of us were depressed about that. So, what else did she have to say real quick? A lot of bow time. Even her idea was make the games like bingo and trivia that cost money to do it to be free. Or additional two free restaurants. Now, with, with our package, we did get two um, premium restaurants we got to choose. And we had to book those prior. So we booked um, the Brazilian Steakhouse on, I think, Sunday night. And we booked the French restaurant on, I think it was Friday or Saturday. So we did book that. They were very nice. Oh, my gosh. I had snails for the first time. They were fantastic. Um, the, the upgraded restaurants are really, really nice. Um, yeah, there, there are certain restaurants there that are, that are at a premium that you have to either book ahead of time, pay ahead of time, pay separately. But that, our package did include two of them, which we did book ahead of time. And we did, like I said, have to book a couple of shows. And being a novice, I wouldn't have known that. It wasn't for Denise, who cruises all the time. She knew that. So if I didn't know that, I probably, who knows if I would have gotten a reservation or got a seat at the show, which is kind of sad. So let's go to what Denise had to say. She, her positives were the beverage package. Absolutely, the beverage package. If you can get it, it definitely saves you money and pay your fees up front. All your taxes and tips can be paid up front. And I hear that saves you money. So she told us that again. Would I have known that? No, I would not have. So we paid all our taxes and, and tips up front. So we didn't have to worry about, apparently they go up if you don't do that. Something like that. So we did pay that ahead of time. She did enjoy the, the, the two, you know, premium dinner credits we had. They were fabulous. Um, the entertainment, she loved the entertainment. She also enjoyed the having, we also got an excursion credit per, I think it was just per couple. I don't think it was per person. I think it was a hundred dollars excursion credit. You also got, I think it was 200 free Wi-Fi minutes, which as we know, that doesn't last long. I did upgrade my Wi-Fi and there is prices. You could upgrade to a basic package. I did upgrade to the premium package because I wanted to um, stream. And in order to stream, I needed to have the package. We'll get to that. Um, she also loved the dining room food as well. She gave that two thumbs up. The entertainment, two thumbs up. We saw a show about, um, like, Frank. It wasn't Frankie Valley. It was Elvis. And um, it was these boys. Um, Elvis was one. Um, Johnny Cash was another. There was two more, I can't remember, but they were so good. It was a legit Broadway show. It was phenomenal. We saw, like, the dancing. It was great. Everybody who works on there, the singing was absolutely, you couldn't ask for better shows. I can't, you know, say anything bad about the shows. So her thumbs down was ports canceled. Pool too crowded. You have to be able to have a seat. For almost every passenger by the pool. And here's the sad reality. I'll tell you this because, again, we I didn't know it. People go up at the crack of dawn and stake out their seat. They put a bag on there with a towel. Because the last day, that's what we did because we finally figured it out. So we got up at 630 because I, I usually turn over at 630 anyway. So I said, I'm up. I'll turn. We went up. We saw the sunrise together, her and I, Denise and I, because we had to get seats. We got, you know, we, we were the first ones up there that morning and we staked out the best seats, you know, and then we were right next to the hot tub and we were in the hot tub, saw the sun come up. And later on, people came up looking for their chairs. Like they act like they own those chairs. Seriously? Give somebody else a break. That was just, I thought was just. Noodle bar, lack of hours. Again, there was also a place, um, one of the seafood um, upgraded restaurants had a little window that was open only certain times and you could go there. You didn't have to have the package for that. because you had to, Well, no, you did. You had to pay out of pocket. They had a lobster roll, but it was only open at five. We didn't know that. We were, we went planning to go there for lunch. It was closed. So they, oh, all I wanted with all of that was that lobster roll. Itinerary changes at last minute. She didn't like. And also, um, the big thing was, I went up to them. No, it's my turn. Um, I went up to them and I asked them, knowing that the um, we were going to um, the Bahamas. 
kidding me. Um, I asked them, I said, hey, is there a, like a beach we can go to? No. You can book an excursion. Well, I don't want to book an excursion. I just want to go to a beach. Since you canceled the other beach that we were supposed to go to, the other you had eight heads. Well, come to find out that there was a public beach we could have went to. But unless, we, you know, they didn't want to give us any information because we weren't paying for it. Now, I thought that was just a bit low. I'm sorry. You should be able to give me ideas that don't cost me anything. If I'm asking you, saying, hey, where's the, you know, that we can go to? Nope. Mm-mm. And there were so many boats in the dock that day that the market, there was like a straw market that's right there, was mobbed. There had to be at least four to five, maybe six cruise ships docked that day. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. That is crowded. And they're on high alert there because they want to sell their wares. So they are talking to everybody they can, trying to sell you everything. And it just was very um, overwhelming. Um, I, again, enjoyed the cleanliness of the rooms, the space of the rooms. It was perfect for us. Um, they put two beds together for a couple. It was definitely a nice size bed. I can't complain. They accommodated by CPAP. They had water there for my CPAP machine for me. So I just had to let them know that I needed distilled water. They provided that. That was nice. Um, the food choices, again, was another thing I would recommend. Um, being that one Weight Watchers, and not that it has anything to do with anything. It was, a, it was a vacation. I wanted to eat. But I just felt for me, going to the restaurants kept, kept me a little bit in control because I wasn't going to keep piling it on my plate. They gave you beautiful portions. They were plenty. And you could order whatever you wanted. Like if you wanted two appetizers, you could order two appetizers. If you wanted two appetizers and two salads and an entree, they'd bring you whatever you wanted. So it was never like you felt like you were being, you know, oh. And whatever they had in the restaurants was definitely up at the buffet. So it's not like well, the buffet was, nothing was better. I mean, I was really impressed at the quality of the buffet. I, I couldn't believe the quality of the buffet. We had lunch there a couple of times. It just, again, it's just hard. You have to find it. See, it's just one of those things like sometimes you just, you're on vacation. You just want to relax. You just want to be served sometimes. So sometimes it's just nice to go to the restaurant, sit down and relax. Now I have to worry about getting up and getting your food. And, and they always replenished the, um, the, there was a bin in the middle of the table with napkins, with silverware. They were constantly filling that in. So if you were done with your plate, they would take everything and you could just grab another um, handful of flatware with a napkin. So they were, like I said, they were always cleaning up, always mopping, always, you know, everything. And they were plenty of sanit sanitization stations, you know, but, you know, we're all post COVID and there was plenty of that there. And, you know, people were telling you, you know, they had signs about social distancing and stuff like that. So definitely, um, I didn't have a problem with people. Um, they also on the, in the restaurants and, pro and, and on the buffet as well, had a sugar-free dessert option. They all, they, things that were gluten free were labeled. So, and if they first in the issue, when you sat down, is there somebody here with an allergy? They were on top of all that. So I was impressed. And once they knew and they, when you're, cause you all got a key card. So when you went into the restaurant, you had to scan the key card. So they knew that my friend had a shellfish allergy. When we sat down, somebody's here with a shellfish allergy. Like they were on top of that. So they didn't want any kind of reactions with people and stuff like that. So they were on top of that but yeah having a sugar-free dessert option was nice and they were phenomenal i ordered the sugar-free if it was something that i wanted once was there was a vanilla cake and it was absolutely delicious and again am i getting a piece of vanilla cake this big no it was a nice little wedge of vanilla it was enough because after you've had you know your four course dinner because yes i had appetizer yes i had salad yes i had an entree and i had dessert so it was definitely, um, and they were, you were never felt rushed in the restaurants. They, you know, they were really, really good light like that. Um, so I've definitely loved having the, um, and the fine dining or oh, the, the, the beach. My, I honestly, the Brazilian steakhouse, I, I, it was okay. I, I'm, I guess I'm not a carnivore, but it was good. Um, the French restaurant was phenomenal though. I really enjoyed that. I really, it was very elegant very Parisian, very French. It was just very nice. And everybody's, like I said, and everybody works everywhere. So you'd see maybe this waiter at this restaurant. And see, it was like they were everywhere. So that was really nice. One other one of my downsides is um, the spa. Don't waste your money on the spa. I wouldn't. I mean, I know it's vacation. You want a relaxing massage or a facial. Worst facial I've ever had. 
most expensive facial I've ever had. Yeah, I didn't get my neck and my arms massaged. Mm -mm, no, and I often wondered, and somebody pointed out, and I don't know if this is true or not, but a few of them were doing massage and facials. So, and they really weren't, I guess, maybe qualified. I don't know. I'm not judging. I'm just saying it was overpriced for the service that I got. And they put the tip in there as a service fee. Again, but I didn't know that I tipped on top of that. What did I know? Again, nobody tells you that. So, but I, I mean, if you insist on getting the massage and the facial, what I would suggest is wait till there's like a port day when everybody's off the boat, they tend to run specials and you get like two or three services for like $199. My facial was over 200. Yep. I was so disappointed. I really, I looked forward, that was one of the things I looked forward to. One of the biggest disappointments was the facial. I mean, I would love to ask for my, I mean, I should have in hindsight maybe complained. I don't know. I, you're on vacation, you know, it is what it is. But if you don't need it, don't get it. <laughs> this, is, this is my philosophy. Yeah, I don't think I would get it. it. It wasn't worth the money to me. Now they had like different, like they have gelato places and there was um, chocolate places that were not part of the package. They were extra. We did indulge a couple of times. You know, and that was up to you. You didn't have to do that. But I will say the um, the spa was not worth it. And I, yeah, that was, I'm a little bit sad about that. It is what it is at this point. Um, they also offer services which we did not utilize. Like there was dry cleaning services and, and there was hair service. You can go down and get like a haircut or get your hair done. I didn't utilize any of that. I mean, that was all probably extra anyway. Um, we just kind of tried not to spend any extra. I mean, Steve did a few weird tastings. Like he wanted to do a tequila tasting. They went to the, um, the, the vodka. It was like an ice bar. They enjoyed that. They thought that was worth it. I didn't go in because I would have been freezing anyway and I would have been miserable. And I thought, I'll just wait. It was right outside my favorite mojito bar. Oh my God. You always find the bar that you really, really like. And that was my bar. I loved almost every drink on there. So I sat out there while they went in there and I enjoyed my, my two mojitos while I waited. Cause you know, you do you and enjoy it. But that was another there was another thing that I, I should have written down um one of the one things i really really liked was a few of the demonstrations that they had um down in the main entrance i mean the main area common area um i went to a sushi demonstration um i thought i remember to put pictures in i don't know if i could link them in there i will link them that was a lot of fun. Um, they were, it, it was just fun to watch and, and I actually got to taste some sushi and that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, that was, I enjoyed also the ducks. Now, apparently it's a big thing on cruise line that, that you hide ducks. Now Denise knew, so she got ducks for us and Linda got ducks and we hid ducks and people would find these ducks. I did find one and let me show you my duck. There's my duck. It comes with a little thing. And then it has people, you could tag them in the um, Cruising Ducks has a Facebook page. And you like push your picture. Now you could rehide it for somebody else to find. But since I only found one all week, I kept him. He was really cute. He kind of matched my hair. So that's a lot of fun. But the downside people complained about was that the crew, the people who work on the boat, love to find them. So they were finding them as well. Honestly, they got so happy when they found them. How did they get mad at that? You know, I was like, oh my God, they shouldn't be for the crew people. I'm like, oh my God, you know, these people work on these boats. I mean, these boats dock, we get off, they clean it and they leave that night. So these people don't get off these boats. They're on there for months at a time. So if a little rubber ducky makes them happy, people love to complain. And that's another downside. Cruise ship Facebook pages. Oh my gosh, if something went wrong, somebody was on that page complaining nothing's perfect. I'm here complaining. I'm just telling you the things that, you know, to look out for, but little legit, they were complaining like mad. Like this one, I don't even remember. It was, I, I left the page by the way, because it was like ridiculous. But this one man comes home, we came, we came back on Sunday. I guess he tests positive for the Rona. Oh my gosh. He gets on the Facebook page and says, I like to thank the person that came on this cruise with COVID. Like, do you really seriously think that somebody intentionally got on that boat to get you sick? 
it's just, you need to get, people need to get over themselves. You know what? It happens. You're in close quarters. You're going to get sick. It's a germ. It's a bug. You know what? I came back congested. I didn't have COVID. I checked. But everybody thinks, you know, and I think to myself, it's just, you know, it kind of was trying to put a damper on the, at least the somewhat good time we had. Um, it was the Great Stirrup K was the name of the island that Norwegian owns, um, NCL. That's we couldn't get to because they don't have a dock there. That's what they need to invest in. It's, you know, take the money, take the loss, whatever, build the boat dock so your ship can dock there. So you don't have to cancel ports because that's sad for a per like us eight days on a boat and we only had two stops. That's just, I don't know, but, but the buck ducks were fun. So if you go on your boat, you have to, I think you can get these on like an Etsy shop or Amazon. You can get these little, and then you fill it out the back and then you put you cute little rubber ducks you get on Amazon. And it is so much fun to find one. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm an adult. I'm 50 some years old, but finding a rubber duck was a lot of fun. And honestly, we hid ducks just for the cruise, the cruise employees to find because they got so happy. The little rubber ducks. I mean, it's not like we're finding gold. So, you know what? Spread the love. You know, like I said, the one thing, if you leave with this video, leave with the fact that the spa is like a big money pit. <laughs> um, unless you really need one, then wait till the day they pour and they give you that bonus one for like, I can't, you get like five services for $109. You know, to sit, I booked ours at the beginning of the week. We went on Monday. Maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to do, but we were at sea and we figured what the heck could be something fun to do. Girls, morning out. We went and had breakfast together and we went to the spa and the boys got to hang out. They went to breakfast and it's, I'm telling you, you get very used to that lifestyle very quickly. It was very relaxing. Um, we finally got into it, you know, and it was just nice. We would, we would go to the bars before dinner to have a cocktail. Then we'd go to the restaurant and sit down and it was just very nice. Um, even though we were at sea, like we all said the same thing. We enjoyed the company we were with. So that made it fun. Even though we were stuck on the boat, we were stuck, you know, but we enjoyed each other's and we had fun and, you know, we'd hang at the bar. We'd go upstairs to the pool. They had some music out there and it was, it was enjoyable. The entertainment was phenomenal. Like that's the reason you go, you go see the shows, you go, you know, enjoy the food. It is all about the food. It is. And, and they're known for that. And they accommodate, like I said, all kinds of um, food allergies and stuff like that. I was, I was impressed. Even with the buffet, the buffet. I did do a whole, on my other channel, a whole five day series of videos. I hopefully will link that playlist here so you can go check that out. I showed the buffet in one video. I did a tour. There's an uh, outer perimeter, the outer deck of the boat on what, I can't what level it was called. I think it was called the boardwalk. You could walk around the whole entire boat outside, and it was a lot of fun. So I showed that. I gave a tour of the, my highlights of the boat. I gave a tour of Cocoa Beach. I toured the Bahamas, and I used to see the straw market. I think I, I might have tuned her out, though, because I'm saying, you kind of feel for them because they love American money. So they were like, you see it, they see Americans, it's like, ooh, you know. I could I can make this with your name on it. <laughs> I didn't like it. I didn't want my name on it. And I really wanted to buy something, but I felt overwhelmed. I did. That was one of my regrets, not being able to get something because I felt pressured and overwhelmed. And I I just closed off. I, I, I just felt uncomfortable. I just felt like they were too pushy. And that's just the way it is. And that's just what any kind of, you know, poor area that has tourists they're going to push their wares and you just you know I'm just not I just wasn't ready for it but I really wish I would have um bought something at the straw market it would have been nice to have something hanging in my you know but we did we um our boat left out of New York so we drove we're in New Jersey so we drove the I think it was like two hours to get there um so that was helpful for us um that was one of the stipulations that my husband needed because he didn't want to fly anywhere because it would have been, it would have been a hot mess. So we, we, it was nice and convenient though. The port is beautiful there. It was, you know, everything went great. Um, you know, checking in, getting verified with your passport, you know, we were in and we were right in, we're right in. We, when we got on the boat, we, um, had lunch, 
and we waited for our room to be ready. And you get that the rooms are never ready when you go on because they, remember, they've just come from a cruise. So it's going to take a few hours. So you get that because, like I said, they don't have any downtime. So they had to get everything ready. So we went to the, had, a, you know, a nice little lunch. And then by that time, our rooms were ready. We went down and checked out our room. And then you had to go down for the, um, the talk about, you know, when an emergency happens, your muster stations and stuff like that. You have to, that's necessary because you need to know what happens because there's too many people. It's chaos if they don't know what you're doing. So you had to go down for the meeting and then, you know, we had our first dinner and everything was great. We, like I said, we had a really good time. Steve had a better time than he thought he was going to have. I think he was very nervous, but I think he may have the cruise bug now because he really enjoyed it. And it, it was very relaxing. It's definitely, I mean, in a way it was nice to be on the boat because you got to relax, but you couldn't get a chair. So, yeah, if you want to keep us on the boat, that's fine, but have enough chairs. And it's not right that people get to go up and save for everyone. And they stay there for a few hours. And here's the here's the kicker of that. We would be up there and there would be bags on these chairs for hours with nobody coming up till later. So they would save their chair at 7 o'clock in the morning, not come up there till maybe 1, 2 o'clock. Well, that's not right. You should have like maybe a time limit, like maybe there's kind of buzzer that goes off, but it's just, and for us, the weather was a factor because it was still cold up here. So it was cold until we got to Florida. It was cold because we passed Virginia and it was still a little bit chilly. So we had to have long sleeves and, you know, it was a little bit chilly. Then once we got to Florida and then Nassau, it was very, very warm. So it was quite nice. And I missed, I wanted to, who, like I said, I was so wanted to go to Bermuda. That was the reason we picked this package. Because she gave us several, niece did all the research. She gave us three or four packages. We picked the one with Bermuda. Because it had Bermuda on it. So that's pretty, that one got canceled pretty much first. That was a real, that was a hard one. Um. But they gave us Nassau because originally we weren't supposed to go to Nassau. I don't believe they put Nassau on afterwards. We were going to go to Great Stirrup K. They gave us Nassau as a comp, you know, like I said, complimentary island as opposed, but they, but, but with nothing on it, with not giving you any instructions if you didn't want to have a, um, excursion. Like that I thought was, they should have maps there. Here, here, and with things marked off that you don't need, and, and when you come off that boat, the, the locals are there trying to, you know, we'll take you, you know, you don't, you know, I could have walked to the public beach. I didn't know that. And you don't want to ask them because they're going to want to drive you there. They're not going to tell you anything because they're not going to make any money. But that boat should have told us there. And they're always trying to sell you a new cruise. Oh, come book your next cruise for X amount off. And it was all about booking the next cruise, booking the next cruise. Well, honestly... I don't know. I want to book an cruise with me. With, I mean, they said they, there was goods and bad. I think there's good and bad with everything. Oh, and my internet package. Let's get back to that. So upgraded to the, the high internet package. I think it was $230. The next one was 160 I believe. And I went with the big one because I wanted to stream my channel. Because I went live several times there. And it's all on, you know, if you don't follow me on Dish with D, that's where all that fun stuff is. I went live on my Facebook groups. I know I wanted to do that for a few minutes every day and show people because people, some people don't get to go away. And it's nice to share that with them. Well, it took me 24 to 26 hours to upload a 10 minute video. I knew it was going to take long. It shouldn't take 24 hours to upload a 10 minute video. So I went down to the, the, um, the, the desk where the tech guy was and he said, this was his answer. Well, we got a lot of people on the internet here. Then don't sell the service. If you can't guarantee somebody they can get on there, you're selling me the service that doesn't work. I said, well, he goes, I can't believe it. So he tried to fix something. He put something in there. It should work now. Okay. Came back the next day. Still hadn't uploaded. So now it was 48 hours. It hadn't uploaded. He looked at me like, and I said, I understand that it's heavy. There's a lot of people on this boat. But you can't sell a service that you can't that, that you can't guarantee is going to work. I said, I want to credit. He credited me. He just gave me the regular internet package. So he credited me. I think it was $80 because I, I couldn't stream. I couldn't upload. Like I said, I wasn't uploading a 40, 50 an hour video. I was uploading a 10. And I kept it under 10 minutes because I knew it was going to be difficult. I never knew it was going to be that difficult. So I wouldn't recommend if you want to work from your cruise and you need internet, 
I don't know if I'd recommend that. I I didn't have the best luck. And, and Steve's friend Warren, Denise's husband, he was working there and he had very spotty connections. He got the second tier, the one that I wound up, you know, getting the credit for. It took him hours to do something so simple. I get it. I get there's a lot of people, but then you shouldn't sell the service. I mean, if I knew that, I would have been fine. If you could say, sorry, we can't get, I wouldn't have purchased it. I wouldn't be like, you know, I'm not going to vlog. I'm not going to go live. I'm not going to stream. I can't. But when they're telling you, you can, if you upgrade, then I feel like there's a disconnect there. So that's another one of my pet peeves is the internet package. So, I mean, you get your free minutes. What I would do is you have to shut the Wi-Fi thingy off because it counts down if you leave it on. So if you just want to check your email or Facebook, you can do that, but make sure you shut it right off. Now, when you're in ports, like when we were in Cocoa Beach, I was able to go on my own system. But once I was like out of, internet, when I was in international, I was in Nassau, it, it didn't work. But when I was in Cocoa Beach, Virginia Beach, it was fine. And also, this is a fun fact, while the boats are docked, you don't have the, you get beverage taxes while the boat's docked. So when we were docked in Cocoa Beach, we, if we ordered a drink before the boat left, we were charged a beverage tax. But once the boat pulls out, there is no beverage tax. Be nice to know that. Didn't know that. So yeah, so while the boat is docked, you get a beverage tax. Some will tell you, some servers will tell you, some won't. Honestly, is it their place to tell you? Probably not. It should be something that should come in your package like your welcome package oh by the way when the boat is docked there will be a beverage tax because we all had the beverage package so you can get two drinks at a time so if i was going up there i would get a drink for linda would it be fair to have you know, to pay somebody else's tax but you didn't know that because they don't tell you that and it's like and you don't get it you get all of a sudden you get your, your you look on your thing and they have a fantastic app which is great. I would definitely recommend, and it costs you $10 to get on where you can message your party. You get like a number and the num you give that number to your friends and then they could message you on the Norwegian app, which did not require a Wi-Fi, So you didn't have to have the internet package, I don't think for that. I don't think you did. No, because not everybody had the internet package, I don't think. I don't think you did but it was nice because it gave you your itinerary it gave you what was going on on the boat that day like you always get those messages every day the papers this is what's going on here's the drink of the day the catch of the day and all that that was all on your app so you didn't really need to read any of the papers everything was on your app and that was really and your tally of what you spent it gets on there as well so you know like that's how we knew about the, well we saw the tax it went right on there so that was kind of nice so i definitely recommend and i would download it before you go you had already downloaded and then once you're on the boat and I think you have to maybe set sail or once you're on there you can log in and like it'll tell you it, it knows that you're on the boat so it gives you that you know oh well, we know you're here welcome and you get all these kind of fun things on there so definitely and the app is free you don't have to pay for it but you do have to pay the ten dollar for the whole week I think it was I think it was ten dollars so worth the ten bucks because we were able to message everybody we could call them because you can't always use your phone service but when you had this app and had the Norwegian app where you could you know I could call my friend and say hey we're going to the bar see you there you guys coming out so we didn't have to worry about worrying about not having cell service so that's definitely a plus I definitely thought that was great so that I hope is my highlights of my cruise I hope it gave you some inspiration let me know if you've had any experiences like this what your do's and don'ts are I'd like to hear more and what cruise line would you recommend us try next I mean I've been on Carnival. Um, that was okay. It was, though it was 30 years ago, so I'm sure it's changed. Um, I, like I said, I can complain about a lot of things. I mean, there was, I feel like I complained very little. I mean, it, the food was so good. And the drinks, the bar, like I said, the people, thank goodness that the, the people, that, and there was people that said, oh my God, the wait staff was so rude. No, they weren't. Maybe you were rude to them and maybe they just didn't give you, they weren't very friendly, but they were never rude. And I think it depends on the response they get back from people because people act like, you know, they should be waited on sometimes and like they're privileged, but nope, I can't complain. The, the staff was absolutely fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know what your cruise experience is, what cruise line you'd recommend in the description. I mean, the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
and thank you for watching and we will discover something else another day. Take care, my lovelies.